Okay guys, here's an update video on putting the Circle D flatbed on the 2008 F350 single wheel. Now you guys might notice that it's sitting a little high there on the wheel, but uh, I gotta have mine up a little bit higher because I got a pull behind snow plow. That's my attachment back there. And I plan on putting the factory bumper in between the flatbed and the snowplow assembly so I'm gonna have to show you what I had to do most people won't have to do that but if you did want your factory bumper to go in between there on a Ford you're gonna have to set it up like this and so you're gonna want a three and a half inch block right there in the front and as you can see for the welder I've got it ground ready for him to weld there's gonna be a three and a half inch by four block right there the very front one is gonna bolt down to the factory front bed hole but that's the only one that's going to sit on top of the rail the rest of them are going to go on bolt on the side and the middle there you need a two inch as you see the ford has the bump the infamous bump if it's not a cabin chassis truck if it was a pickup it's going to have that bump right there and only ford does that because ford's the greatest trucks on the planet so Dodges, Chevys, you're smooth along there. You don't have to make that little offset. But anyway, that's two inches and three and a half inches. And I'm going to mount the factory bumper on there. I'm going to grind this just like that up front for the welder so he can weld it on there. There's my grade eight bolts. Here's my factory bumper bracket. That lower one is my short iron pull plow bracket that ties my frame to my plow bracket that right there is a custom bracket I built to hold the flatbed right there it's gonna go right here I'm gonna go around to the other side but real quick I'm gonna show you here's the factory practice bumper this is my old practice one I wanted to practice before I did the real thing this is my two-way power for my plow it's gonna go right in there where the original tag lights used to go. I'm cutting custom tag light holes right here. To put these in like this. Instead of aiming, I'm gonna aim them just slightly down. You gotta cut your hole and you gotta cut you a square on both sides accordingly so it snaps right in like the factory. This side's my seven way control for my snow plow. It goes in there. It's all going to fit perfectly right here. And if you'll see, this is an 11 inch lip right here. Let me grab this tape measure real quick. It's 11 inch. And it's enough room right here for the factory bumper to fit. Here's what it looks like on a side that's ready to weld. And most of this is so the welder can get an idea of what he's up against here's your factory bracket for the bumper as you can see that distance right there is how much the bumper bracket has moved out from the frame the one on the far right is the frame the one in the middle goes up to the flatbed and the one on the left goes down to my plow bracket and the far left is the bumper bracket so the measurement right there of the middle two has to be compensated out on the bumper. We'll get to that later. So here's the finished side ready to be welded. As you can see, it's got a four by three and a half block there. My custom piece I told you I made on the other side. Here's the identical one. I got all the metal ground off. Ready for the welder to weld it. The middle does this. Now if you're really going to ever pull a fifth wheel, this thing's going to take some weight. So I got the heavy wall. Two inch square in there. And you'll see that gap that I've got. This gap right here, 
I think it's going to be best for the welder to get him a big old fat weld right in there. I got all the paint ground away to give it a bead across there, right across there. This is six inches, this piece, and it makes exactly the bump that we showed you on the other side of the Ford. It makes that exact bump. And I want to load the bed down with a bunch of weight up here and then weld this with the weight on it and then bolt it tight. I've got it snug now, but bolt it really tight after it's put down. There's what the front will end up looking like. You can see the bolt in there. There's my grade eight bolt. There's my paint that's been ground ready for the welder to put a good weld on that. There's my new cab mounts, by the way, but here's that. And here's looking back in there. That is uh, about the best I could come up with and make it still look good and be tough. You can build it even tougher, but you got to think about it only needs to be as tough as the flatbed up there. So I'm wanting to weld right there and then along the top edge there like an L shape. And then we'll address the filler neck. It's got to look good and keep dirt out. Filler neck's coming up next. But here's a quick... Quick shot again, that's what the side's gonna look like. Nothing's gonna weld to the truck, of course. It all bolts to the truck so it can come off later. And the wood blocks are in there just for keeping it up so I can move back and forth, take my stuff in and out. I'll knock those out at the very end. I'm gonna build a rubber skirt that goes all the way to the back, wraps in one piece to the left here and makes this angle down all in rubber as kind of like a a splash guard and it's going to come down to right on top of the frame rail right along there all the way to the front up and over to the filler neck tubes all the way up there all one piece so there won't be this big old air gap you see under there it's got to look good why do it if it's not going to look good so New bumper cover in the box. Thanks, Mike, at PDC, OKC. Here's my back piece of tubing. Three and a half by four. There's my two inch. It's gonna be heavy wall. That one's just a thin wall piece that I had laying around. I'm gonna get one more heavy wall. That's gonna basically bolt to the truck and they get welded just like that. Take up a lot of the weight, especially if you're fifth wheeling. Back side of it, since those Ford holes are ovaled, got this heavy bodied washer, thick body, see it? That's not just no weenie washer. That's thick and that's so it covers that complete oval hole right there. And you can see all the way over there barely, there's the opposite side. So I might have went into too great of a detail. Oh well, we're gonna show it to you in a day or two when I get the everything welded up and the rear factory bumper on, it's gonna look cool. I've only seen one other guy rolling around with the factory bumper and a flatbed. And since I saw that, I said, that's what I need. Mine's gotta look like that. So hopefully the welder, that's enough for you to see. I just need it welded so I can get this thing on the road. Get hooked to the brand new short iron back blade. Just waiting on some real snow. Short iron back blades. Muskegon, Michigan. Get you one. Alright, see you guys.